Hello friends. See, in yet another day of my journey, this place, it is on the border of India and Nepal. And right now, after a long, hectic journey, see, I have reached to this place. It is the land of Lord Buddha. And this place is called Purvaram. But in Pali language, it is called Pubbaram. See this place. And after driving for a quite long time, I find this place. It's a wonderful place. It's a monastery. And you will see in several languages. It is written here, Purvaram Bhagya. And at this place, Lord Buddha stayed for six rainy seasons. And he gave, rather I will say, he preached 40 cannons. And this place was discovered by the Archaeological Survey of India in 5th BC. And uh, this part of land was donated by a great devotee, Migar Mata, Mata Vishakha. She was called as Mother Vishakha. And you will see, even it is written here. This one is Ashok Pillar. And the Buddhist monk who stays here, he is meditating right now, so I cannot disturb him. His name is Venerable Vimalatis. Yoga Vachar. Yoga Vachar is a title, you know. It is only given to those monks who are staying in forest away from worldly luxuries. You know, whenever I get bored from the mechanical life of the city where I am living, I come here. It's very near to my place and it gives me great peace and fills my heart with great joy and excitement. You know, I just told you that this place was donated by Mata Vishakha and she was also known as Migar Mata. Migar Mata, literally uh, Migar means mother. Migar means mother. And uh, she was living in this place and uh, Vishakha is known as the chief female disciple of Lord Buddha and his greatest patron uh, with her male counterpart Anath Pindak and uh, both Anath Pindak and Mata Vishakha they met Lord Buddha at uh, I think at that time the age of Mata Vishakha was around seven years or uh, and uh, after a long time following Lord Buddha then suddenly she got realized that she is getting enlightened by Buddha and later on in her journey of life she realized his importance and the place was donated by her 
इट्स अ वास्ट पीस ऑफ लैंड नो बडी लिवस हियर ओनली द मंक हुज नेम इज विमल तिस वेन एवर आई फील वेरी एग्जॉस्टेड आई कम हियर फॉर मेडिटेशन I sit in this quiet place. Nobody is here to disturb me, and it's quite fascinating to see. You know, there was a time when I was highly reactive, short-tempered. But after doing vipassana, I am much calm, non-reactive. Often people say that, "Why don't you get angry?" I said, you know what? If I get angry and I react, that it means I am going to the level of that person. Hmm? So I believe that people are a bundle of unconscious behavior. Why should I react? Everybody is going through a evolutionary stage, and. to react would be highly immature i suggest to you you should all come at this place and spend a quite few hours some time and this monastery is still under construction a lot of people come here for meditation it's a quite peaceful place the name purva ram or pubba ram uh is due to uh you know it's a pali word and pubba ram means lord buddha stayed here uh the maximum time where he stayed is called jetvanara and this place is to the east of jetvan that is why in hindi in pali it is called pubba and in hindi it is called purv purv means east so the name of this place is pubba ram and it's a good place i suggest whenever you come to india and those even those who are living in around this this place even they do not know about it i request you whenever you get time you come here sit for a while do a bit meditation and try to introspect yourself whatever you are doing and you will realize that living here sitting for a quiet moment away from worldly affairs you will return back to your peace of mind and you will become very calm and still very grounded okay so now i am returning back to my place okay bye take care